the egnu regional center cochin in which you all to this open come enrichment session on the topic empowering women through cooperative setup issues and challenge the uh, resource person for today is dr vishu mohan das professor department of social work b r ambedkar college university of delhi sir is, has also done his uh, post doctoral work uh, in social work and he has uh, has many awards and grants uh, to his credit uh, including uh, being a member of boards and committees and uh, the school board of school of continuing education ignu expert committee bharatiya bhasha samiti ministry of education government of india expert committee national curriculum framework government of india expert committee state level quality assurance report of delhi nac bangalore the academic council indira gandhi national open university board of studies jagaduru ram bacharya divyana university chitrakoot and also sir has many paper to his credit and the interesting topics which he has covered is including the sentiments and also the emotions during the pandemic situation and we are also grateful to uh, dr bishu mohan das for being with us on this uh, event where we are going to share about the uh, empowering women through cooperative setup issues and challenges under the innovation cup club activity and it also serves as a feeder session for the various promotion, um, promotional programs related to women uh, development the uh, cooperative setup and also programs of continuing education uh, indira gandhi national open university for this academic cycle so it is actually three in one session i should say uh, and we are really grateful to dr bishu mohan das with us and uh, the salient features of his research projects the paper presentation is expertise in various field also reflect on the topic of today being integrated with a disadvantaged group and how it can be a, a, a socially excluded group but at the same time it can be empowered through cooperative setup and now i request dr prasika unikrishnan to share to share few uh, thoughts about the innovation club activity and also uh, um, Uh, introduced the session uh, to the learners of how it will be held uh, in the sequence of uh, today's agenda over to dr prasita unikrishna thank you dorothy madam and my resource person for the session dr vishnu mohandas a very warm welcome to you to this session and i'm really grateful to you for accepting this invitation at a very short notice in spite of your busy commitments i must say you have spared some time for the students of igno uh, so we are really grateful to you for this uh, session and uh, just a brief i would just like to introduce about the innovation club at igno headquarter delhi this was in, uh, initiated by ncid igno headquarter delhi and basis which an innovation cell was set up at igno regional center cochin so since uh, 2018 we have been conducting a series of monthly lectures which are called as open session cum enrichment session earlier the sessions used to be held in the face to face mode but now since the uh, covid pandemic situation prevailed uh, the sessions have moved on to the online mode and presently we are conducting this enrichment sessions in an online mode since this has a far wider reach and this session is being transmitted uh, live through our facebook page of igno regional center cochin and uh, earlier also so many sessions pertaining to life skills communication uh, and many other such topics of interest to the learners have been covered under the open session come enrichment session and we are grateful to you uh, dr bishnu uh, for your session on empowering women through cooperative setup issues and challenges a very warm welcome to you sir to the session and i am sure our students will uh, have a good take home message Uh, after your session so uh, once again i warmly welcome you to the session over to you sir i will be uh, sharing your presentation from my end sir 
Thank you, madam, uh, for uh, for your center for starting the enrichment session for the students. I also thank the regional director, madam, for uh, giving a nice introduction. So today I will be speaking on empowering women through cooperative setup issues and challenges. In fact, uh, rural development is also one of my core area, and I had been IGNU for one and a half year, and also was in charge of. Uh, Uh, discipline coordinator of the department of rural development in igno and 3 months before i left igno and again come back to my parent institution in university of delhi so in my presentation today basically i will be uh, keeping in mind the different kind of learners in igno it may be bsw ba students or master students or the you know senior level students at phd level even the employed uh, learners so i have prepared my presentation so that all the basic information about the cooperative will be covered what is cooperative how cooperative movement started what are the basic fundamental principles of cooperative values of cooperative how cooperative is a viable instrument helpful in empowering the women even i have also listed some of the successful women cooperatives in india and even i have tried to document uh, prepare a table on the list of uh, you know how successful women cooperative has you know increased over the period of time in india and at the end of my presentation i will be speaking what are the major you know problems and challenges that women led cooperatives are facing in indian context so start with you know uh, i have my ppt also around uh, 30 more than 30 ppts so you know basically if you see the cooperative movement Uh, started in india started at the global level during the 19th century and still now at present cooperative movement has become a very powerful economic model and it is also playing a very sizable force within the national economy of the world not only in the world but also in the india cooperative is not a very simple as you think very small phenomenon it is playing a very significant role in the national economy as well as in the global world economy if you see my ppt you see that around 12% of the entire humanity in the world are member of the cooperative societies and that is roughly around 3 million cooperative societies are still in the at in the world and if you see the ppt around the turnover of the cooperative across the world is 2146 billion us dollar if you take into account majorly large 300 large cooperative and cooperatives has given appointment i mean it is given employment to more than 10% of the world population so you can imagine how cooperative is playing a significant role in the world economy as well as in the national economy of india and what is the basic uh, concept of cooperative cooperative is basically you know it's a organization that is run by the members it is uh, uh, all the decisions of the cooperative are taken by the members and the purpose is to strengthen the economic condition of the members while it fulfills the economic aspiration of the members it also strengthen the human capital the social economic development of the women not only women and for the you know enter marginalized sections of the society what is the basic how the cooperative has developed you know cooperatives has developed in the world as well as in the different countries depending on the situation depending on the adversity the causes of origin of cooperative in india may not be similar to the britain or may not be similar to the germany cooperative movement basically started in india first started in the great britain as well as the germany it started in the form of you know cooperative stores to provide benefits to provide subsidies to the poor farmers to the poor persons प्रसिद्ध मैडम थोड़ा स्लो करिएगा स्लाइड हाँ 
so in different countries so in different countries there are different regimes for the origin and development of cooperative so we cannot say there is a specific region specific cause for the origin of the cooperative in indian context cooperative movement started to to provide you know to protect the poor farmers from the clutches of the money lenders but in britain and germany it was started to provide subsidies to the poor farmers in i mean the kind of birth of kind of cooperative store so different forms of cooperative originated different countries depending on the situation depending on the adversaries so it has not been possible to define cooperative cooperative precisely because the movement was born out of adversity and the circumstances which gave rise to the adversity has been different in the different countries so this is basically the origin of the cooperative movement if you see the cooperative is based on four major catchwords the first is they are formed by a group of people who have specific need need means economic need basically economic need or problem second the organization is formed uh, freely by members after contributing to its assets there is no compulsion from any outside that that is an independent choice of the persons to form the cooperative and thirdly the cooperative organization is completely governed by governed democratically the all the decisions elections everything is decided democratically and the last fourth important component of cooperative is it is an independent enterprise promoted owned and controlled by the people to meet their economic needs so that is the four major catchwords for cooperative i can give some of the important definitions of cooperative that is acceptable uh, the definition some of the important definition is given by tangirala uh, in 2005 bedi and uh, uh, other definitions given by international cooperative alliance you can see the definition the definition itself reflects uh, the character of the cooperative the the you know the fundamental features of the cooperative cooperative is an autonomous association of persons united voluntarily to meet their common economic social and cultural needs and aspirations through a jointly owned and democratically controlled enterprise this definition is given by international cooperative alliance if you see the definition all the features of the cooperative is present first it is an autonomous association of persons the association of persons is autonomous it is voluntary it they are united voluntarily it is not involuntary there is no force there is no compulsion why they have united voluntarily they want to fulfill their common economic social and cultural needs and aspirations they have common needs common economic needs may be common social needs and cultural needs and they have also aspirations to grow economically social and culturally and fourth characteristics that is also reflected it is a jointly owned and democratically controlled enterprise the organization owned is owned by the members and it is governed democratically so all the important features of cooperative is found in the ica ica means international cooperative alliance definition of 1995 other defin other important definitions also given for example narayan swami has defined cooperative that it is a voluntary organization of economic units based on equality and democracy for carrying out the economic objective so cooperative is basically it is not an end in itself but it is a means to achieve the goal the economic goal the social and cultural goal their needs to achieve uh, social and economic growth and development so this is the basic definition of the cooperative so what is the basic goal basic objective of the cooperative movement or you can say the cooperative the basic objective is you know to awaken a new spirit of the transformation of the attitude of heart and mind on the part of those who associate together for that purpose this spirit you can see it is reflected in the motto expressed by the cooperative union of england that each for all all for each in business in companies in business industries you know they work for themselves 
but here each for all and all for each that is the fundamental principle of cooperative this spirit is is, is you know it is quite contrast with the joint stock concerns which works on the principle each for himself so this is the major difference between the cooperative enterprises as well as the business enterprises in cooperative we talk of each for all and all for each in business houses they talk of each for himself so when they talk of each for him himself there is the feeling of selfishness there is the feeling of competition so there is conflict is there with other business houses but on the cooperative they cooperate with each other they work for the community they work for the on the principle of each for all and all for each there is no individual competition there is no conflict within the members so this is the basic motto of cooperative so a cooperative society seeks to combine in an association number of individuals who have got a common economic ends but they are too weak to achieve them individually the persons those who are economically not sound those don't have enough capital so they combine each other they start business cooperative collectively so that there will be much capital and they can do some kind of they can start some kind of business some kind of enterprise so the essence of cooperation is it is self help avoidance of competition and uh, this is the basic uh, you know the basic um, uh, philosophy of the cooperates cooperation or you can say the cooperative in indian context the cooperative movement started you know with the enactment of cooperative societies act that is that is the first legislation on cooperative in india and we have almost completed you know more than uh, almost 120 years the cooperative journey the movement of uh, the journey of cooperative movement in india has almost 120 220 years of eventful existence and during this long period the cooperatives has struggled very hard and it diversified many fold in terms of numbers membership deposits and working capital four important things the cooperative number the size of the cooperative the number of cooperative has increased substantially and the membership of the cooperative have also increased their working capital their turnover has also increased has also increased increased manifold and the good thing is that the cooperative movement which started with the credit cooperative societies only credit cooperative societies now it has extended its reach beyond the non credit sector beyond the agricultural sector also now we have successful cooperatives not only in the field of credit and banking but also fertilizers sugar cooperatives dairy cooperatives marketing cooperatives consumer cooperatives housing cooperatives fisheries handloom etc we all must have heard amul one of the signing uh, example of the cooperative movement that amul milk that we used to take amul ice cream that is a cooperative anand milk union limited we talk of ipco indian fertilizer indian farmers fertilizer cripco they are the very successful cooperatives sugar cooperatives you can see in uttar pradesh in maharashtra they are doing wonderful marketing cooperatives consumer cooperatives even housing cooperative societies many of us stay in the housing cooperative societies so the movement which started with the co- credit cooperative societies have extended its reach to many fold so if you see the history of the cooperative movement in india the main purpose of the cooperative during the pre independence period was basically as i told to provide relief to the farmers to the poor farmers from the money lenders who exploited them with high rate of interest but after india's independence particularly with the start of five year plans earlier we have the five year plans now uh, we talk of niti ayog the the goal of the cooperative the purpose of the cooperative has expanded a lot so uh, i can see in my slides i have described that cooperatives as dairy cooperative sugar cooperative agricultural cooperative you know they they attained significant growth in the last 100 years 
and the most successful cooperative in India is uh, in the uh, areas of commodity production, milk cooperative, sugar cane, fruits, vegetables, agri inputs, fertilizers, microcredit, you know, dairy development. Dairy development in, is, you know, as I told, this has been acclaimed world over as one of the modern India's most accomplished development programs. And some of the states which have, which have done tremendous, uh, uh, successfully they have done, you know, like the states of Gujarat, Maharashtra, Uttar Pradesh, Haryana, Rajasthan, Andhra Pradesh, Karnataka, Tamil Nadu, they are surplus in milk production. Millions of small farmers isolated in various parts of the country have gained the strength to sustain their livelihood. So you can see how the cooperative uh, has been successful in many states and uh, in some of the other states, you know, in for example, if you see the sugar cooperative has been successful in Maharashtra, uh, in Uttar Pradesh. Uh, and you can see some of the statistical data that the highest market share of cooperatives is for Maharashtra followed by Gujarat. They are doing wonderful. Cooperative banking, you know, very much successful in Maharashtra, Tamil Nadu, Uttar Pradesh. Sugar cooperative, you know, very successful in Uttar Pradesh and Maharashtra. The, as I told, the Indian Farmers Fertilizer uh, Cooperative, that is IFCO and CRIPCO, Krishak Bharti Cooperatives, is well known in the entire country. But you ca we cannot say that cooperative, success of the cooperative movement is uniform across all over the country. Some states are doing uh, very well. They have developed cooperatively. Some students, some, some of the states in India are also doing good. And some of the states, particularly the northeastern states, they are still, you know, in the uh, developing phase of the cooperative movement. So we can make any blanket statement that cooperative movement is fully successful across India. So there is also state-wise disparities in the growth of the cooperative movement. Now we need to uh, discuss what are the principles of cooperative, why the cooperative is making, you know, so becoming so successful in Indian context or at the global level. You can see some of the important principles highlighted by International Cooperative Alliance. Because of these cooperative principles, cooperatives have become very successful in Indian context. What are the important cooperative principles? You need to remember that these principles are different from the business enterprises from the business houses. That is why they are making significant impact in the society. The important principles of cooperative are, one, first is voluntary and open membership. The membership is completely voluntarily and it is open for all. Second, democratic member control. Democratic member control means cooperative is completely governed by members democratically. The third principle is, member economic participation all the members equally participate contribute for the growth of the cooperative they contribute equally for the capital for the assets of the cooperative and it is cooperative is autonomous and it is completely independent and the fifth principle is education training and information cooperative used to provide and training programs for its members so that they can understand the values of the cooperative, principles of the cooperative, so that they can contribute effectively for the success of the cooperative. And another principle is cooperation among the cooperatives. That is also very important. So that they can share their information, they can, uh, uh, they can have joint ventures. So there is always cooperation for the cooperatives. And last principle is, last fundamental principle is, cooperatives always tries to uh, focus for the development of the community. You can see, if you see from, read from the Google or from various studies that many cooperative organizations are working for the community development. They are running schools, they are running hospitals, they are providing transport services, they are constructing roads and canals, many type of community developmental activities are also undertaken by the cooperative. So uh, in the, my next slides, I have just tried to you know, um, explain more details about the different principles of the cooperative 
as I discussed. That I need not, uh, you know, discuss more about the principles. I have prepared in the slides so the learners can read also. So if there is any confusion, any question, I will take up after my presentation. So the first principle is voluntary and open membership. We can proceed uh, the slides. Uh, second is democratic member control. I uh, already told that the members, uh, they themselves actively participate in deciding their policies and they take the decisions themselves. There is no discrimination between the men and women. But in women-led cooperatives, there is only women. So the next principle is member economic part participation. All the members of the cooperative, they contribute equitably and democratically control the capital of the cooperative. At least part of the capital is usually the common property of the cooperative. So uh, we must uh, remember that member economic participation democratic member control are you know very important principles of cooperative then autonomy and independence as i told cooperatives are autonomous organizations and the membership is quite voluntarily and self help organizes um, the one of the basic uh, value of cooperative is also self help it is a self help organizations it is not supported by any outside organizations the members try to contribute the capital of the cooperatives by themselves. So self-help is also very important in cooperative. Then the next principle is cooperation among the cooperatives, then concerns for the community. Because the ultimate goal of the cooperative is not only to empower the members, but also to work for the development of the communities. That is, that are the major you know, principles of the cooperative. And then the next slide is how cooperative and empowerment concepts are related. You know, cooperative, if you examine the principles of cooperative given by International Cooperative Alliance, you will find that each and every principle of cooperation gives directions towards empowerment. For example, if you see the first principle of cooperation, that is open and voluntary membership, that entitles the members to join or leave cooperatives without any discrimination. So members can join the cooperative even if they want to leave the cooperative, there is also no compulsion, there is also no penalty. They can leave the cooperative. Again, if you examine the other principles, for example, principles of democratic member control, it is also reflects some kind of empowerment that it enjoys upon members to participate in the decision-making process on equality basis. Even the third principle of the cooperative, that member economic participation, it also reflects that it is related to the concept of empowerment. It enables the members to achieve economic empowerment by actively participating in the business of their cooperative. Then the other principles like autonomy and independence, the principle of education, training and information, the principle of cooperation among the cooperatives. And all those principles are directly or indirectly related to the concept of empowerment. So we can say cooperative is one of the viable instruments for empowerment. And then we can talk of what are the values of the cooperative. We need to understand what are the values of the cooperative that cooperative is based on. Self-help is one of the very important values. Self-help means you are contributing equally, you are taking the decision gently, you are governing the cooperatives democratically. Each and every member of the cooperative has voice in the decision making. Self-help, self-responsibility, democracy, equality, equity and solidarity. These are the important values of cooperative. In the tradition of the founder members of the cooperative, the members believe that ethical values of honesty, openness, social responsibility and caring for others, these are the values of the cooperative that is based on. So we must remember the values of the cooperative and the principles of cooperative so that we can run the cooperative successfully. So I have described the uh, different values of the cooperative in my uh, pre preceding slides, self-help, 
as i told it is based on the belief that all people can and should strive to control their own destiny cooperators believe that full individual development can take place only in association with others individuals also develop cooperative action by the skills they learn in facilitating the growth of growth the growth of their cooperative cooperative are the institutions that foster the continuing education and development of all those who are involved with them so the other principles like self responsibility self responsibility you know that members assume responsibility themselves for the cooperative there is no compulsion self responsibility means uh, self responsibility it is essential uh, among the members so that the friends all the members they will take decision they will take responsibility for both the success of the cooperative as well as the failure of the cooperative cooperative equality is also very important for the success of the cooperative no one is no one is superior no one is inferior all the members are equal all the members are decision makers all the members are you know uh, the, they own the assets of the cooperative all the members are responsible for the success of the cooperative as well as the failure of the cooperative so equality in every sphere is maintained in the cooperative system equity is also very important values of the cooperative and lastly we can talk of solidarity solidarity is also a very important uh, you know um, cause and consequence of self help and mutual help and solidarity basically you know it ensures that cooperative cooperative action the cooperative behavior is not just a disguised form of limited self interest in this uh, philosophy it distinguishes cooperative from other forms of economic organizations business houses companies so we must you know i am i am trying to remind you the values of cooperative and principles of cooperative that differentiate cooperative from other kinds of business enterprises in addition to these values self help self responsibility solidarity equality and equity there are some other important values like honesty openness social responsibility which are also very much important for the success of the cooperative enterprises so i can make a statement that uh, Uh, that by virtue of its origins and its fundamental principles and its values and the environment the cooperatives is originated and the need that it tried and the need it strives to meet the cooperative movement is a movement of the people an outgrowth of the people and a movement which watch word its action the definition is given by the concept is given by memory and saksana so uh, as i told uh, sorry the slide is you know uh, repeated uh, so then the next slide is importance of cooperative why cooperative is important why as a student of rural development or a student of social work or a student of development studies or in the business studies or in the management studies We, will, we should know about the cooperative you can see if you read about the success of cooperative some of the case studies from the google or from other research studies you can find that cooperative has provided opportunities for the people it has provided opportunities for generating their income and it is also provided them scope for secured income not only that many cooperatives has provided them direct employment as well as, as well as indirect employment to its members and cooperative is one of the very important avenue for providing self employment to the to its members to the various sections of the society the cooperative has also tries to develop work ethics that is characterized by self motivation through allowing people to be the owners of their work it is also one of the important mechanism important vehicle to develop self confidence among the members 
if you see for example cooperative uh, amul cooperative members or seva cooperative members the poor farmers the poor women they have developed you know the kind of self confidence those women for example those who are uh, remained within the four walls of the house now they can they are participating in the politics in the panchayat elections they have the courage to go out of the home they they are now able to take decisions for their families for their homes so this kind of self confidence is reflected only because of you know their uh, participation in the cooperative movement cooperative have also developed their skills various specific skills to uh, uh, undertake very many kind of uh, activities so these are the important role played by the cooperatives it is able to develop the leadership skills it is uh, you know provided the opportunity to take responsibility so uh, we can say there are uh, lots of benefits that the cooperative movement has provided to the marginalized sections of the society as well as to the poor section of the society particularly the poor women in the indian context so we can go to the next slide you can see that the i have listed some of the very successful women cooperatives in india just i am trying to present the slide because so it will generate some kind of interest among the learners to take up cooperative activities you can see one of the uh, successful cooperative is uh, mahila seva bank in ahmedabad that is a completely women led cooperative bank um, amul anand milk union limited is a successful cooperative you can see other uh, successful women led cooperatives mahila bank in mysore you know mahila nagrik sarkari bank limited in nagpur mahila seva lok swasthya cooperative in gujarat self employed women association seva it's a very famous women led successful cooperative that is in ahmedabad then your krishna cooperative in gandhinagar sangini child care cooperatives in ahmedabad then you can say mahila vikas cooperative in andhra pradesh samriddhi mahila cooperative society a very popular cooperative society in you know in himachal pradesh so these are the some of the list the list is you know quite big in my presentation i decided to show you only some of the successful cooperatives then you can see in india various women cooperative have achieved tremendous success anand milk union limited is one of the very shining examples of cooperative in india the dairy cooperative that is the amul cooperative particularly has not only provided gainful employment to women but also provided them a very dignified life to the households in the rural areas of india the success story of dairy cooperative are found in the states of gujarat maharashtra andhra pradesh as well as in karnataka the anand milk union limited what we popularly uh, call you know amul is globally acclaimed as a successful model of cooperative and is being followed in many other states in india the amul cooperative model particularly in the case of amul the rural women's participation in the milk production is unique very unique and uh, you know uh, it shows that women cooperative societies all the women cooperative societies that i have listed uh, in my uh, table successful cooperative societies they are doing wonderful work i have made some of the description of some of the successful women cooperatives for example seva that is complete that the women cooperative bank that is uh, you know mahila seva sarkari bank in uh, gujarat you know it is the bank is completely you know owned by self employed women as shareholders the policies are formulated by the women board members elected board members so you can see how the women cooperatives has successful you know 
in Indian context. The it has been successful in improving their standard of life, their quality of life, because their earnings has significantly you know improved, and the cooperative has developed self awareness, their social awareness. It has been instrumental in developing their entrepreneurial skills, decision making skills. So most of the women cooperatives in India, you know, has very successful not only for their economic empowerment but also for their social empowerment, for their educational empowerment as well as for their political empowerment. I have listed some of the important studies that has shown that how the cooperatives has improved their economic security, their entrepreneurial skills and their contribution to the well-being of their families, for the well-being of their infant as well as for maternal care because of their economic you know, strength, their earning. The cooperative has played a significant role. I have prepared a table that shows the growth of women cooperatives in India from 1989 to till 2000, you know, um, uh, I think 2014-15. That is the data that is available with me. And uh, if you see the table, I have mentioned the turnover of the cooperative since 1989. The membership membership is in thousands, and their working capital is in millions of rupees, and the number of cooperatives. You can see how the women-led cooperatives has improved in India. In 1989-90, the number was around 5,478. And with the passing of year, the women-led cooperatives is increasing each, each and every year. The number is quite significant. If you see, the data that is available with me is by two, till 2016, now we have around 21,493 cooperatives. So you can imagine how women-led cooperatives, the size of the women-led cooperatives are increasing every year and how their turnover, their membership, their working capital is increasing with the passing of each year. That means cooperative is, is, is you know, naturally playing a very significant role not only for the empowerment of the women, not only for the empowerment of the, their family, for the infants, for the, for the entire, you know, family, but it is contributing a significant role for the national economy as well as for the world economy. But there are also certain challenges. The women-led cooperative also, you know, witnessed some of the major challenges that needs to be tackled because if these problems these challenges are not addressed then the cooperative movement make women cooperative movement may come to a halt despite these challenges it has been you know playing a significant role very important role for the national economy what are the major challenges major problems of the women cooperative i have also listed uh, through uh, you know some of the studies that have listed what are the major problems of the cooperative. What are the major problems? Major One of the major problems is they are not having proper training. Some of the cooperatives, they are not providing proper training to its members regarding the cooperative principles, regarding the cooperative values and cooperative philosophy. Without, you know, clarity in thought, without, you know, sufficient knowledge about the cooperative principles, values and philosophy, they cannot, uh, you know, contribute uh, properly for the cooperative movement. And another problem is, you know, most of the women are overburdened with the domestic responsibilities. And in the some of the societies in India, women also feel restrictions to go outside. There are certain kind of cultural barriers. Patriarchy, no doubt, also a major hindrance for the women-led cooperative movement. So when the woman has no freedom to go outside, if they face opposition from their family by their husbands, so they cannot, you know, contribute effectively or participate in the cooperatives properly. 
in addition to these you know problems there also you know lack of funds among the cooperative women led cooperative also face difficulty in getting loan from the banks because they don't have that much of you know security guarantors because bank has also certain uh, you know restriction certain guidelines so women cooperatives also sometimes uh, uh, mix these kind of problems also lack of uh, literacy among the members their traditions the you know societal culture the some kind of religions even another important thing is attitude of the men attitude of the their husbands towards the you know towards their you know uh, wives this is also major concern they have the attitude the kind of mindset that women cannot be a successful entrepreneur or women cannot be a successful cooperative leader so these kind of constraints you know uh, including the financial constraint are some of the important reasons for hampering the growth of women cooperatives movements in women cooperative movements in india the many i have uh, listed some of the important studies conducted by various you know uh, cooperative leaders of the major you know limitations major challenges that are faced by the cooperative in besides that besides all these challenges besides all these problems the cooperative is playing a very very significant role you know for the national economy for the global economy as well as it is a very suitable viable mechanism for ensuring women's empowerment in india if there are any questions any queries i will like to take up the questions thank you prasita madam for giving me this opportunity to provide a brief presentation on women cooperatives in india thank you thank you sir thank you <laughs> thank you vishnu it is a pleasure to hear to you, hear you i must say and such a topic was uh, it took me back to my days in gujarat in fact uh, in fact i had the privilege of working with seva for a period of around 4 5 5 around 5 6 months i have worked with the self employed women's association seva in ahmedabad so you mentioned about that organization in your uh, presentation also so i uh, it was like a treasure uh, trove at seva as far as cooperative setup is concerned because i could see how the women were empowered uh, in a cooperative setup and the way they were taking decisions uh, uh, collectively for any of the issues which they were faced in a cooperative setup uh, that was something which i learned uh, while working at that organization which is uh, seva and uh, your uh, uh, your presentation in fact brought me memories uh, from my uh, my employ my employing times uh, at seva and uh, thank you so much i think uh, dr bishnu has covered an entire gamut of the pro cooperative setup starting from what a cooperative setup is and how uh, and its principles values and uh, he has given so many examples explaining the cooperative setup and the challenges also he shared so i am sure our learners uh, who are watching this session through the live is fb live page of igno regional center kochin would also have got a, a brief idea about uh, this cooperative setup and how women have benefited from this cooperative movement so thank you so much uh, dr bishnu i would just leave the session open for discussions but before that i will just invite our regional director dr j s toroti madam to share her views please thank you very much sir and uh, as uh, dr prasita unikrishnan was sharing you have taken from uh, the basic to the uh, example sir so we could relate it to easily even though uh, sir, for certain uh, aspects are new to us but it was easily understandable and uh, friends as a, uh, as a life skill education we also take this opportunity to share uh, certain things which i take it uh, certain words i take it from sir's presentation also one is cooperation and collaboration the power of we 
it matters a lot when it comes to uh, our life also that is why we are placed in a society and we are placed in a community and also uh, no one is an individual who can say i am self sufficient so also in distance learning system the each and every individual even though it is an autonomous learner the uh, role of the study center the store role of the regional center the peer learning makes a sense when it comes to uh, learning at a distance and you have to sacrifice many things in your uh, in your personal friend your leisure time friend and also in your commitments to squeeze in this program of study but definitely be assured friends that the spin off benefits after studying uh, or acquiring an education qualification is always very high and i always uh, like to share one small thought uh, as a take home message also uh, many a time we forget to fulfill our prerequisites especially while in the distance learning system thinking of our tomorrow when our today is very difficult and yesterday was not a very good memory all as a life skill education i encourage you friends please take one day at a time and do not worry about tomorrow and also yesterday's memory may be uh, bad today may be worst but hope for the better tomorrow that is what i would say when it comes to fulfilling the re- prerequisites why because for exam example submission of assignment response is a prerequisite for writing the term and examination in indira gandhi national open university it doesn't say you have to successfully complete so even if you are confident or not confident make an attempt and it is more like an open book test so the assignment response you can submit it even though there is time you are thinking that you won't be able to give your exam the second one is please submit the exam form even though you feel that you won't be able to give your exam why because as days goes by one of the tomorrows when what we feared when it comes today it would have been a better situation for us to handle it so what is the practical problem when we encounter is many students they do not submit the assignment response nor the they uh, fill in the examination form but uh, thinking that things will be difficult 6 uh, months ahead or 4 months ahead of the term and examination thinking of the yesterday's what all things have happened but when the term and examination schedule date comes all things would have cleared and they would like to write the examination which is not possible so please fulfill the prerequisites that is also one and uh, one uh, life skill education which i want to say and be in touch with your peers because collaboration and cooperation helps you to uh, successfully complete the program of study which you have accessed and the second one is the soft skills structure where we uh, want to share is no whenever you want to say suppose you want to say thank you to the resource person the title will be there the re- person's resource a uh, person's name will be there so you link both the title and what points you have gained whether it was uh, t- and the take home message which you are catchy so the one one definitely one statement will be ringing in your mind that will be a, a thank you note to the resource person that that is also we want to share so life skill education a small soft skill uh, uh, impartation of how to say a thank you in a uh, session and the third one we want to share is about the swayam so the swayam uh, courses that is it is free of cost at the time of enrollment but at the time of certification you need to pay what is the why we are talking about swayam is this it's a massive online open course and indira gandhi national open university courses are also on offer in the swayam portal so please visit swayam courses and be benefited and we also want to uh, uh, encourage you that national education policy 2020 uh, which is a uh, uh, detailed program on this has been uh, is on offer in the swayam portal through indira gandhi national open university and it is open to students also so definitely anyone interested to know what is national education policy 
or to develop more on it, whether you are a faculty or an administrator or a student or a general public who is interested in the education system of the country, you are welcome to join. Friends, and now I request anyone who is available in the floor to express your views and then uh, we will greet uh, by saying goodbye. I would request my colleague, uh, Dr. Viti Jalaja Kumari to kindly share her views. Thank you, Dr. Prasida, for inviting me. And uh, thank you very much, uh, Dr. Uh, Vishnu, uh, for giving us such a wonderful talk regarding cooperative. Uh, suddenly, one thought came to my mind also, because uh, Kerala is well known uh, for cooperative um, entrepreneurships and endeavors regarding empowerment of women. Uh, sir, uh, you will also be aware about Kudubashri. Have you heard of it, sir? I think definitely because it is a well-known uh, uh, organization under the government of Kerala and worldwide it is discussed and uh, actually that is the base of Kerala model developments uh, well known in UNESCO also and it, it is appreciated by uh, other states and some other states they are following it especially in Maharashtra I know some efforts like that because it's a grassroots level uh, cooperation for uh, women development because educated people will always try and they may have uh, voluntarily engaging with some developmental uh, processes in their life but the people from rural sectors uh, and uh, other areas means especially poor people they may not have that opportunity to overcome the barriers of their uh, life and to have the liberty to develop so this is the one of the best model for grassroots level development and it started in India, in Kerala in 1997 uh, as the part of Panjaiti Raj and it is the um, one of the uh, planning of the local people and through which their education uh, status has been developed, uh, their um, involvement in all the aspects of the state's development because especially at the time of covid nipa how uh, kerala was uh, oh, means overcoming that situation so i think uh, kerala was a place where this has been started very uh, severely and uh, spreading over uh, uh, than any other part of india it is a fact but how we succeeded is only because of the cooperation and the service mindedness of the Gudumbashri ladies, women who are in. And uh, almost 50 lakh people are there uh, as members in the, in the current data. I don't know because I was not thinking of it to speak. Uh, occasionally it came spontaneously. That is why. So I'm not aware of the uh, uh, number and uh, that many aspects. But as a general thing, I'm telling you. And the the whole matters related to covid rescue was done by this uh, women of kerala and their participation in the 2018 flood was also a wonderful thing that uh, they, their services were uh, higher than that of the services of men in kerala that is uh, one appreciable appreciating matter by all the sectors of the world and only because of this cooperative movement under the support of the government uh, uh, it has happened and it is happening now so all over kerala there are so many cooperative missions uh, entrepreneurships are there in food sectors in health sectors in education sectors and in so many small scale industries are there and uh, uh, now the people who are working in harida karma sena but sena is there harida karma sena harida sena they are doing the removal of uh, plastics and other ways and they are segregating it and they are uh, doing their best for promoting sustainable development. If I am telling a lot, a lot of things are there with the, uh, the cooperation and this may also be considered along with the other cooperative movements in India for the development of uh, uh, women. And uh, the thing is that majority of the people, means majority of the women are uh, not uh, eligible to are, uh, they are not facilitated by education or some other social matters uh, to come forward 
to attain the empowerment so this is this type of things also has to be uh, considered and i am just giving one point regarding this one as an additional point to uh, the uh, resource persons presentation and uh, i am very much happy to hear this one because our students nowadays they have to know how this has to be attained the women empowerment has to be attained and what is the role of corporates in this and uh, thank you very much prasida madam for uh, taking such a site title and uh, uh, finding your friend to um, present a very nice paper very nice presentation before us to strengthen our students thank you very much once again and that's all thank you ma'am thank you for your uh, wonderful thoughts anyone else who would like to share uh, actually this video of this lecture will be available in the igno regional center cochin youtube channel so this video record is being recorded and the session will be available for the view view of our students uh, on the igno regional center cochin youtube channel of rc cochin so request those who are viewing this session uh, through live Uh, they can also note down the youtube channel of igno rc uh, cochin and kindly subscribe to our youtube channel of igno regional center cochin so now i think we come to a close uh, of the session and uh, i am so grateful to uh, dr vishnu for sparing his invaluable time uh, to come and address all uh, in this session on a very very important topic i must say but uh, before closing i would request my colleague dr vt jalja kumari to kindly maybe deliver the vote of thanks to the resource person thank you prasida once again uh, so in continuation of my uh, talk uh, i i am uh, rendering the heartfelt thanks to dr vishnu to uh, to be with us and to have such wonderful talk to us and at first uh, that is the thing to say and uh, uh, once again uh, again and again we will appreciate your presence with another topics because both of you were engaged with the social works i think uh, of the same discipline isn't it prasida ma yeah yeah uh, so yeah so we will again get um, opportunity to know about the solidarity solidarity movements in india and uh, other areas of uh, social work so uh, on behalf of ignu uh, let me um, share you our heartful thanks to you sir vishnu sir uh, also also i thank our regional director uh, madam was engaged with uh, uh, a conversation with us for that and madam was uh, arranging this thing behind with the help of dr prasida unikrishnan for especially i am uh, telling thanks to our regional director ma'am formally but the person who is behind the curtain is uh, prasida madam she is very punctually Uh, conducting this program every month and he will find out uh, up to source persons also for that and for strengthening our students with the uh, innovative thoughts dr prasida congratulate you at the same time uh, i am very much uh, thankful to you for having this session and all the students who have participated uh, uh, live and uh, the students who will uh, watch also will be strengthened later also so once again i thank all uh, who have participated in this session uh, for this wonderful uh, listening this wonderful talk uh, thank you thank you yeah madam thank you prasida madam thank you thank you vishnu